this is Sara. Today we're gonna show you a toy that you can do at home. It's almost free, except for the cost of the materials that are used. And, uh, we're gonna show you how to do it step by step. This toy is a matching game, and Emilia loves it. We uh, saw it at daycare, and she spent a lot of time on it. And I wanted to have it at home as well, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So in order to play, you have some uh, figures that represent the, the materials that you have in this sack. For example, this is barley. You put them in transparent plastic bags and then uh, they can touch the consistency or just by looking at them they can find where it belongs to. This is the easy step. The most difficult step is when you put the same material in these uh, balloons and by touching them the child should know where, what material it is. To make these bags we just use several materials around the house. We use pasta, Raisins, flour, sugar, barley, and white beans. We took some balloons, all are colored the same, and we put the same material. So this is barley, these are uh, raisins, this is flour, white beans, and pasta. And then to do the cards, we use a cardboard and then I went online and found some uh, images. I will link them below if you want to use these same materials and the same images. And then I plastified them. I have uh, plastified almost all except two because I wanted to show to you how I do it. This is my plastifying paper and I'm just taking the measure to cut it. Here I will remove some of this uh, paper. This is the cardboard that I want to plastify. I'll start behind like this. Now I need to cut these edges here and here. So now I cut the excess that was here and uh, I need to turn this. So I will turn it like this and with a tissue paper. This is not to create air bubbles inside. Cut this excess uh, here as well. I'll cut these borders too a little bit. I have not closed it totally. Maybe a lot, a little piece also over here. I took the measurement wrong. But this is just so that uh, they stay in good conditions for a while. Finally to store it we just have found a box where everything fits and here is our toy. This was all, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon, bye bye!